Well, welcome everyone to uh, this uh, YouTube Pro Tools uh, introductory course for Windows users. Uh, well, what will hopefully be a long series. Um, we're going to start super, super basic for the very first time Pro Tools users and uh, kind of go th through things as we need them. So uh, we're going to not get, um, not go deep at first. We're going to just explore things just enough um, to get started and to be able to do what we need to get done. I'm going to give you guys some practice files because let's face it, uh, if you're trying to learn Pro Tools, uh, you got to practice, right? You got to have some sound files, to find out uh, how they work and how to practice mixing and all these kind of things. And there's no better way than to do that with real actual music. So that should be fun when we get there in a few lessons. So we're going to start from ground zero here from the very, very beginning with a blank session. Uh, when you open up Pro Tools, this is what you're faced with on a Windows machine. And we're just going to uh, start a new session. Okay, we're going to not do this from a template. So we, we learn uh, everything from the ground up. It's going to be much more effective, effective that way and uh, more fun too, I hope. So we're going to start here and we're going to select uh, Broadcast Wave Format, BWF. That's going to be our friend. And we're going to set the bit depth for 24 bits. Um, that should give us enough resolution to uh, to get where we need to get to. 16-bit is typically uh, where CD uh, resolution resides. Uh, so we'll have to dither down to 16 at the end of the, the mix, but that's basically how we're uh, targeting our uh, sessions here. It's geared for CD production. So in the interleave format, we're going to check, make sure that's checked, and that simply treats uh, stereo files as uh, one monolith block rather than two mono files linked together. Going to make our lives a little bit simpler, so we like simple. And uh, as I had mentioned just earlier, uh, we're going to go for CD resolutions. That's 44.1. You can see in the pull-down menu here that we have other selection, uh, other selections here. 44.1 uh, and its multiples are used for CD, and 48K. And its multiples are used for film work. So uh, that's 44.1, 88.2, 176.4, or typically used for CD production. So that's where we're going to go. And the I.O. settings, let's go with Stereo Mix and click OK. you should be confronted with this empty window here with not much going on. Um, this is our mix window. And the reason why you're not seeing anything at the moment is because there are no tracks. So there's nothing to look at. Uh, as opposed to most other pieces of software, when you open up a new session, you're, you're shown uh, the mixer or some other tracks, uh, empty tracks that you can start loading sounds onto. Uh, Pro Tools does not work that way. It starts with a completely blank slate for you to start creating your uh, mixing console on. Um, so what we're going to do here is take a look at the two main windows. We have our uh, mix window, which we're looking at now. And we're going to switch to our edit window like that. Uh, it's under the Windows menu right here. You can see the two choices, mix and edit. Uh, the true power from Pro Tools uh, comes from utilizing the shortcut keys. That's where you can get very fast. And um, we're going to use control and the equal sign at the same time. This is on, again on Windows machines to switch very quickly between the edit window and the mix window. So let's do that. Control and equals. And there's the mix window and we'll flip back. There's the edit window. All right. So Let's um, expand that window, and uh, we're going to save this session. Uh, all set there. So we're do a little shortcut again, Control S to save it, and we're going to start the next lesson and start creating some tracks. All right, hang in there. 